Okay. Well, afternoon video. Heading up Silver Pass. A little bit after five. Maybe quarter after. Eric is somewhere behind me. Seems like I always lose him at this time of day. But I think he'll find me because we do at the night hike and he informed me he does not have a headlamp. There's some cloudy skies, so it might not be the best moon to be hiking with that headlamp. <laughs> Wow, such a pretty day today. This pass here, this is the pass that I really start bringing my long stockings out full time because of because this is the first place I ever got frostburn and we're in a kilt I think we passed through it like three o'clock in the morning over this past mid September 2011 doing the John Muir trail with Llama Walker we ended up doing it in like 11 and a half days, something ridiculous. Just pounding out the miles every day. But when we did this particular pass, Silver Pass, like I said, at like three in the morning, when we passed the lakes that are gonna be on the other side over here, I had gotten frostburn all on my shins and calves, and even a little bit of the inside of my knees and. Uh, lower thigh from exposure to the cold and that's when I decided that the long stockings the thigh high ones would protect my legs and I still have all the freedom of wearing the kilt which I really like and by cutting off the feet out of the thigh high socks I can take them on and off my sneaker I will say this about those socks. The knitted ones, I gotta come up with something better because they really get destroyed very easily. They're not real durable. But I do like them because they have at least saved me from frostburn. So, ooh, look at the view. Nice. So, this is my afternoon video. I'm gonna go down in sunlight and Take a break and wait on Eric.